Well, how many of you went into this debate undecided? I'm just curious, show of hands. How many of you were kind of undecided? What's, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> That's like an undecided look, yeah, no? It's so no. undecided, yeah. <laughs> I mean, did the debate do anything to change anybody's minds or get you to a decision? I'm losing every tool in my toolbox to change the mind of family members and friends, and it's not going well. Dave, you said you kind of, you made a choice now, right? Well, I have made a choice. Uh, I have made a choice. Can you tell us? Can you be reveal this choice? Yes, I have made a choice. Um, I think I've... Let me think about that some more for a second, because so I don't even want to say let it out me loud. Just, let me just share with you what I'm observing. It sounds like you made a choice, and you don't want to say it out loud. True. <laughs> <laughs> but not because of us. It no. feels like it's an internal struggle. Well, it is, because I feel like if I'm being brutally honest in some way, no matter which way you go, unless you pick a third candidate to write your own name in, which I also might do now that I think, uh, whichever way you go, we lose. In one way or another, we lose. If you get Trump, I do not trust him because I don't trust his politics. I think he has an ulterior motive. And the whole January 6th uh, insurrection or treasonous acts, or let me not go on that tangent. So I don't like that about him. Biden, I'm concerned one day we're going to have this breaking news story that the president's died in office or something. <laughs> and I'm making a joke, but I'm not actually because he seems like he's in rather bad shape and that concerns me especially when you need to really be sharp when you think about all yeah. the issues that are on the table so okay <sighs> i might just write my own name in it. What I'm <laughs> <gonna say. laughs> that's his decision <laughs>